Ah, two Arturos, huh? Hello, Arturo. Jose, you're there? Yes, I'm here. All right. How are you? Um, I'm fine, teacher. What about you? I'm doing good. Ready to go, ready to start. Yeah. Okay. So, Arturo, why do you have two connections? Um, um, the internet connection is, is very bad. So, one is the cell phone and the other the computer or? Um, is the, is the Wi-Fi. And no, no, I asked because I see your name two times or. Oh, 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 right. Yeah, it's, it's my cell phone is connected. Okay, so in one you have the cell phone and the other one, the computer. Okay. Um, I will... No, no, I only I ask, only ask. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just gonna it's only for the chat is is fastly with the with the cell phone. Okay, no problem. Okay, guys. Well, before we begin, um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Myself, my name is Edwin. I'm going to be the instructor or your teacher this module. This is for intermediate module two, and the idea is for us to improve our four skills, right? listening, wow. reading, writing, and reading. The important is in the platform is all of the activities that are obligation. In the platform, we have all of the obligation activities that we need to do. It's important to have a minimum 80. 80 is the necessary to pass to the next level, okay? Now, did you take classes before or is your first time in English class with English Corporativo? No. No, nothing. It's okay. No, don't worry. We try. Hi, teacher. Hello, Jaime. How are you? Hi, good night. I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm fine. So, Jaime, remember in English always is good evening. Good evening. Yes. Okay, teacher. And goodbye. Goodbye is good night. Good night. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, Jaime, did you study with English Corporativo before? Yes, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember. Uh, uh, in the um, in the naval and um, to naval I, so so you are my teacher hey <laughs> yes that's uh, great i i, co I continue the class okay um, perfect also. so today we continue yes 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 please good evening good evening everyone Everybody. Hey, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, are you listening now? Yes. Today okay. we can hear you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right. Hey, did you study before with English Cooperativo? The model uh, before is nivel, nivel intermedio one. Ah, okay. One. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, that's good. So do you understand that the platform is the necessary to 
do the activities from the platform? In my case, teacher, I I understand uh, the uh, use the plat platform. Okay. Platform. Platform. See. Sí. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No questions with the platform. No, teacher. In my case, no. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Anybody else? And the for the other people is is a, the new level or you study before with English corporativo. Okay, we don't know. I explain. I introduce a little bit the platform just to be sure. Okay, here one moment. Okay, so in this course, this is English Intermedio, module two, we have five sections, no five weeks, five sections. We have section one, two, and three, that is in two weeks, this week, and next week, we complete section one, two, and three. N next week, we have exam. The exam is the three units, one, two, and three. Next week, next week we have this exam. Then we have section four and section five. Section five is the final exam. The final exam, we have the exam, all the units, one, two, three, four, and five. To pass to Inglés Intermedio module three is necessary have minimum 80. 80 in the progress you can check and here to pass is this this is the minimum in order to pass mm. here you can check the homework and the grade and the activity if you have a low grade or bad grade it's okay you can repeat it's not necessary only one time you can do many times each section has videos, objective, and exercises. The, is obligation to do the knowledge checks. All the knowledge check have a notebook and a pencil. This is obligation. The other is information. The objective, the video, objective, video, activity. Objective, video, objective, video, activity. Is only, you see, this, the movie for videos, these for objectives. And this is for, these are for practicing exercises. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, teacher. Okay, okay, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Now, before we begin, today we're going to talk about family members. But before we begin about family members, I have to show you a video from uh, InSupport, okay? So the video is a little, a little long, but we watch the video and then we continue with our English class. Yes? Okay. El Insaport ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. 
Inglés para el Trabajo. Contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos. Tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Con el objetivo de formar en igualdad el Instituto Salvadoreño de Formación Profesional INSAFOR, presentó en el año 2017 la Guía para la Prevención y Erradicación de la Discriminación contra las Mujeres en los Centros de Formación Fijos, donde se desarrollan programas permanentes de formación profesional del INSAFOR, cuya elaboración contó con el apoyo de la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, OIT, y su objetivo a largo plazo es contribuir a mejorar las condiciones y oportunidades de acceso y permanencia de las mujeres en los procesos de formación profesional sin discriminación de ningún tipo. La guía pretende poner a disposición de INSAFOR y de sus centros colaboradores un instrumento que les permita identificar, conocer, prevenir, atender y erradicar progresivamente Cualquier discriminación por razones de género contra la mujer. Posteriormente, el INSAFOR desarrolló un plan piloto de implementación de la guía en tres centros de formación fijos. Y es así como surgen cuatro instrumentos fundamentales para la aplicabilidad de la guía, siendo estos manual de convivencia, protocolo de atención en casos de bullying y acoso sexual, lineamientos para la comunicación de los programas de formación con lenguaje inclusivo no sexista, y la guía metodológica para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres. Dichos documentos fueron elaborados con el enfoque de derechos humanos y de género, estableciendo medidas que garanticen relaciones de respeto, igualdad y equidad entre todas las personas que forman parte y conviven en los centros de formación profesional. De esta forma el INSAFOR asume la igualdad de género como un principio transversal de trabajo, entregando a los centros de formación estas cuatro herramientas que complementan la guía para la prevención y erradicación de la discriminación contra las mujeres, a fin de que sean puestas en práctica en beneficio de las usuarias de la formación profesional. Insafor, formando en igualdad. Ok. Now we finish the publicity, we can continue. <laughs> All right, let's read a little bit. Uh, Noe, can you please read the objective for this lesson? Okay, teacher, casi no se ve, pero voy a intentarlo. In lesson objective, uh, in this lesson, participate uh, a listening and practicing. Uh, ¿Me puede hacer ampliar la letra un poquito, teacher? Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. Okay. So the important is first we're going to listen, and then number two, practice. Number one, listen. Number two, practice the conversation between family members. Give me some examples of family members. What are family members? My son, son, my wife, wife, and my father, father, mother, mother my, cousin, uh -huh. my uh, cousin, cousin, my sister, my sister, sister. Uh -huh. my grandmother, grandfather. Excellent. 
So we have a lot of vocabulary for family members. Let's listen and then practice. Okay. Hi, welcome to this new course. This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. Okay, so now let's look Turned at the conversation. First, is there any vocabulary you don't know from the conversation? The vocabulary is okay. Oh, teacher, uh, goodness, what's the meaning? Let me see. Oh, good, goodness, sorry, goodness. 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 It's like, oh my God. Yes, Mr. Right Fire. Goodness. Goodness. Uh -huh. goodness. Is the expression like, oh my God? Oh, yes. Uh, teacher, what is the meaning on the word hang up? Hang up is yes, to yes. finish the conversation, to put the phone down. Teacher, lounge, what is? Lounge. Um, let me Loud. Ruidoso? Here. Loud. Very loud. Is uh, the volume very big? Is very strong the volume? Like a party or a concert is loud. It's okay. In Spanish, teacher. Well, Thank you. Welcome. The volume very strong. Yelp. This is loud. loud. Like in the oh. TV. In the TV, you don't listen. Ah, increase the volume. Two, 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 two. Is loud. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, You're welcome. Now we are going to practice with our partners. In the WhatsApp group, we have the conversation or in the platform is 1.1. So in this moment with our partners, we are going to practice Mrs. Field and Jason. And then we're going to do Lisa, right? And Mrs. Field. So we have four people, Mr. Field, Jason, Mrs. Field, Lisa. So we are going to practice with our partners and then we change. Are you ready? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Remember, 1.1, 1. 1. 1, we only practice quickly with our partners and then we return.
Marty, what happened? Marty? Marty, what happened? Mari, do you have internet problems? Mari, you okay? But I don't listen to you. Hey, Mari, can you hear me? I think you said yes. Are you? Do you have problems in the group? Yes, Mari, but chatting is not going to improve your speaking. Try speaking, Mari. Okay. No problem, Mari. You can't speak, it's okay. We try a different time. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody, for coming back. Tati, were there any questions? No, I don't have a question. OK, good. Anybody else, any questions? No, teacher. Okay, no problem. So let's take a look at the next part, 1.2. This is going to help us for this objective. 1.2 is a little bit different. And here, uh, let's have, who is it? Uh, Maria, Maria, can you please read the objective? Yes, teacher. In this lesson, you will practice using two parts verbs to make requests. Ah, so this is verbs mm -hmm. that have two, to have two verbs with one meaning. This is the idea of two part verbs. Here, we're going to learn some of those that are very common to use. Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two-part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. OK, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Now here it's important because the idea is you need two verbs for the meaning. Is not correct only turn the TV. Is not correct down the TV. Is obligation the two in verbs to make the idea the meaning, the verb and the preposition. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts a verb plus a particle. For example, 
put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay. It's okay the idea of two-part verbs and the function? Off. Yes, no. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, good. So remember, the first part, the put or any two-part verb is the one you can put in past, present, or future. The second part is obligation. You cannot change because if you change, you change the meaning. It's not the same put off that put on or put back. The same is not the same. Take off, take on, or take back. All have different meanings. You have to use exactly that. The important is if you have he, she, it, we, you, they, the pronoun is in between, not correct at the end. Is correct, put it on. Is not correct, put on it. Is correct. Uh, take her out but is not correct take out her yes 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 teacher okay excellent so now we're going to practice a few exercises with our partner we have 1.4 and we have many different things activities the books the toys the dog many and we're going to try and use the correct word with the meaning. What do we understand? So there are 10 words and there are 10 pictures. You look at the pictures Teacher. and you them. Yes. Uh, I have a problem in this part in the number six and number seven. And mm -hmm. the others I is okay because I did in the afternoon but i have a problem with the part six and seven okay. is like to the toy and the lights for the toys and and the lights the lights Turn but number six is not toys and there's no lights. Uh huh. So don't worry. In this moment, we're going to practice with our partner and see if we can con we can figure it out. So, in one point four, with your partner, we are going to try 
match the words to the different phrase to the different two part verbs. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Remember, one point four. One point four.
Okay. Now here's the most important part. The that is possible more than one answer for some of the activities, for some of the two part verbs. And for other is only possible one because they have different meanings. So let's take a look. Number one, what is pick up? What is the idea of pick up? Um, Como levantar. Or levantar. Recoger, okay. levantar. So what can we pick up? Pick up the toys. Okay, pick up the toys. Okay. Mm. Only the toys. The trash. Only the Maybe. Okay, all right. What about turn off? What can we turn off? The light. The light or the radio? The, the light. The light. The radio. The radio. The radio. The radio. The radio. Yeah. Only the two, the lights and the radio. The radio. The light. The TV. The TV. Okay, three. So the three. The lights, the radio, or the TV. What about clean up? What can we clean up? The yard. The yard. The yard. Good. What can we put away? The boots. Your jacket. Your jacket. Your boots. Your boots. Your boots. Your boots. Your boots. Okay. What about turn down? The TV. The TV. The radio. The TV. The radio. No, radio. Radio. Okay. The jacket. The jacket. What about take off? Your boots. Take off your take off your take off your jacket. Your hang, hang your jacket. Your jacket. Hang, hang your jacket up. Ah, for hang up. Okay. Hang up. Okay, so hang your jacket up. Yeah. Your jacket. Okay, good. Only the jacket. Please take out the dog. Okay. Number eight. What can we take out? The, the trash. The trash. The dog. The dog. The dog. The dog. Number nine. Number nine. The dog. What about let out? The dog. The dog. Two. The dog. Only the dog. Yeah. Okay. And number 10, turn on. TV. The TV. The TV. The TV. Only the TV. The lights. The lights. Only the lights and the TV. TV. Radio. Radio. And the radio. Ah. So this is the problem. That for some, you have many answers. For example, pick up toy, book, the TV, the radio, or your jacket. Okay. But then for others, we have only one answer. Here, turn off the radio, the TV, or the lights or electronics. Right? What about for cleanup? We can have for cleanup. Only the yard. So you can only clean up one area. Okay. And then what about put away? Look, put away, we have many options. But turn down, only two, the radio and the TV. And then for takeoff, you see? is not repeat the other ones, it's only these. We can only have take off your boots or take off your jacket. All right. And then finally, the last ones. 
Are there any questions? No, teacher. The, the, the question no, line, no, probably, probably the dog, um, the trash, will play the trash out? Yes, right here. Take out and then the trash. The trash and, and, and nine, answer nine. Let out only the dog. The trash, only dog? No, no, the trash, because... probably. You cannot let out the you cannot let out the trash because the trash you have to move, not the trash move by itself. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I want you to use these in one example. Pick up, turn off, clean up, put away, turn down. As an example. Uh, I am going to pick up uh, the clothes in my house because my wife gets very angry, but I am tired. <sighs> so I'm going to turn off the computer or I'm going to turn the computer off after the class and go to sleep. I need to clean the bathroom up because it's a lot of toys from the children that were taking a shower. Now with your partner, you are going to make one sentence, your partner one sentence. Use the 10 vocabulary words. It's okay, the example? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 10 sentences.
Okay. Rodolfo, number one, pick up. Tatiana, number two, turn off. I want to clean my house. I'm gonna pick up the dress, please. Maybe not necessary the please, because you say I'm I'm going to pick up the dress and I want to clean no, my house. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Tatiana, number two. Uh, turn the radio off. I have a headache, please. Good pronunciation. Headache. 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 Good. No. Number three. Number three. Clean no. the jar up, please. Okay, Jaime. Number three. Clean the floor up, please. Yes, okay, please. that's good. That's great. Uh, Carla, number four. Number four. And um, please put your jacket away. Okay. All right. Uh, Mary, number five. Mary, can you speak louder? We can't hear you. Please stay off my computer. No, Mary, number five. Number five. Juan, can you help Mary? Please turn uh, down the TV. Go ahead, Mary. Would you answer have my dress up, please? My dress? No. Juan, what's number five? Please stay off my computer. Mary, the word number five. Number five is turned down. One. Okay, so Please turn huh? down my computer. No, Mary. This is not the idea to turn down. One. Uh, number five, please turn around the TV. Okay, so what is the difference? Why the TV okay and the computer no? Turn down is for the volume. The volume. The volume yes. is okay on the TV, but it's in strong. the computer, not the, the the idea is not normal. Turn down the computer. Okay. Yes. That's why. Jose Arturo, number six. Um, please take off, um, please take off the cat. Okay, all right. We want to create new ones, remember, not the ones from there. For example, please take off your glasses, take off your hat. The idea, try to use other vocabulary. Okay, um, please take out um, your rings. Okay, take off, okay. No way. number six. Please hang out your um, uh, sweater. Repeat. Please hang out your sweater. Your sweater, okay, good. Jaime, number eight. Please let the cat out. Okay, good. Walter, number nine. Oh, take out. No, Walter, no? Okay. Aisa, Aisa, try number 10. 
start on the team T radio, please. Good pronunciation. Radio. 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 Aisa, do you have a radio? Radio. Yes. Do you have a radio? Mm, que si tengo radio. Yes. 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 I do. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Aisa, how do you say subir volume? Uh, low. Oh. I, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> uh, it's today's vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Jaime, Juan, Juan, how do you say subir volume? Louder volume. Oh. Repeat. Everybody, subir volume is turn. Turn up. Turn up is bajar volume. Turn up is subir volume. So it's the opposite. Up, more, off, no volume. Turn up. Turn up. Exactly. Turn up. Mm -hmm. Like turn off. Okay. It's apagar. So. Let's take a look. If turn off is apagar, eh, Tatiana, what is encender? Turn on. Correct. Is the opposite is the, the idea. Off and on. Okay, good job. Very good job, guys. Now we're going to watch a little bit about here. The pronunciation. How the stress in the two-part verbs. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two-part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, let's practice. Um, let's see. Mm. Jaime, can you please read the sentences? Yes, teacher. Okay. Pick up our things. Cut it out. Pronunciation, cut. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Draw me up. Good, thank you. Jaime, no, the other Jaime. Jaime oh, Reyes, can you read the, the last two sentences? Oh, the sentences, teacher. The last two. Mm -hmm. ah, the last. Uh, tur turn the radio up. Pronunciation, radio. Radio. Turn the radio up. Okay. Oh, the phone down. Okay, good. Now, it's okay the vocabulary for pick up, cut out, drop off, turn up, and put down. Mm. Teacher, what is the meaning of the drum? Drum it out. And drop off. Yes. Don't worry. Jaime is going to explain. Jaime, what was drop off? Hello, teacher. Yes. What was drop off, Jaime? Oh, drop, drum up. Mm. Oh, sorry, teacher. No problem. It's okay. Oh. That's why we practice. Drop yes, off yes. Is okay. like in the airport or at work. 
For example, I drive the car, I drop off my wife, I drop off the children. Oh, yes. Perder la señal, teacher. No, this is lose or drop your signal. This is lose your signal. Ese es como soltar. Drop me off. No, Mary. It, the drop off is when the person, like the bus. When you take the bus, the bus drop you off in uh, El Puerto, drop you off in a taxi, drop you off in, drop you off in, put you in the place. Bajarse, uh teacher. -huh. Yes, exactly. Dejar. Correct. Yes. So, for example, sometimes with the partners at work, the partner go in the same place. Oh, drop me off in Metro Centro. Drop me off in, in Unicentro. Is I go with you and you leave me in this place. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to continue with more vocabulary tomorrow. The important is today we begin the idea and the process to improve. Okay. Tomorrow, we continue with our unit and practice using the two phrase verbs. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey, teacher. Thank you very much. I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. I see you, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.